Jamie, just a terrifying sight. Take a look at this truck. It goes higher than the roof. It's been like this all day, and crews are telling us it's going to be like this at least throughout the night. Q13 News got a chance to speak to the people who live inside of this home who actually tell us they were concerned something like this might happen. It was like... It split the garage from the house. It was like I almost wasn't surprised. I was like, I just had this horrible feeling. A rare sight for a quiet Issaquah neighborhood, and one you never want to see if this is your home. This is my worst nightmare come true. Trista Oliva worked from home Tuesday while a crew attempted to remove a massive tree from her property. She says her daughter saw the tree falling and the family ran to safety. I've just stopped shaking. Oliva says she actually saw one of the workers fall. He came to talk to us. He goes, are you okay? And I said, yeah, we're all fine. And then he laid on the ground and didn't get up. Two injuries, um, one worker we transported to the hospital, the second worker, minor injuries, stayed here at the scene. Amazingly, those are the only two injuries reported. Eastside Fire and Rescue responded, and the Washington State Department of Labor and Industries began the investigation. Reflecting on the chaotic and terrifying day, Oliva knows this could have been so much worse. I was so worried about my kids and my pets and and the crew. Luckily, the family is safe and together. Unfortunately, they will not be able to return home for a while. So I got a chance to speak with crews. The hope, the goal is to get this massive crane truck removed from the home sometime tomorrow. I also spoke to the owner of Eastside Tree Works, the crew that was doing the work at this property. What he tells me in a statement is that they have safety protocols and training in place to avoid incidents like this one. And what happened here is now under investigation. Reporting live in Essequa, I'm AJ Janivel for Q13 News.